Hello. This is Stotsky. So today I'll be talking about Ceylon as in the upcoming what is it? Record restoration, I think it's called. Uh, I think <laughs> the upcoming record restoration is actually uh, coming up, and the first free operator that we can get back is Ceylon. So, and I haven't talked about Ceylon before yet. So sure, and my friend did say he he want did he do it? Did he find out it again? I must see the he or she could talk to me about it. No, I think the exam period. Can't remember. <laughs> One of them, one of them. <laughs> well, they did say that uh, he or she wanted to build Ceylon up soon. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. So, and you know, can't really be bothered to. Uh, okay, wait. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's her. Nick Carmen. <laughs> yeah, one of them told me. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I'll just be talking about my own. My experience with her, I guess. As far as I actually do, actually, he is actually quite quite good. As much as a hero can be, I guess. As far as I can tell. She actually has found that much a lot of uses for her. And if anything, her art actually looks very good. She wait, is she a bird? Um, ah, she is a bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. How about you doing, yeah. I, I I guess you just talk about her first. Um, so she's a ther- therapist medic, supposedly. I just call her a wide range medic. I'm always so calling calling her just that, to be honest. So yeah, so basically they have this weird range, but also have a trait where the healing the healing is reduced by eighty percent for any of these nine tiles, I believe. If I'm not wrong, I could be wrong. I don't exactly quite remember to be honest, but just know that like. In some, if the allies involve the further tiles, there will be reduced healing. It will be reduced to 80%. But yeah, that's more or less about it. It generally isn't really too big of a deal. Since generally, they aren't exactly healing too much already in the first place. <laughs> Their attack compared to the amount of HP most allies have, then in the ground, if that like a ground unit, it isn't a lot. <laughs> to be honest. It could matter, but Jenny, I haven't found it to be too big of an issue. The reduce twenty percent, like in most cases or not. So it is a drawback, but as far as my experience goes, it really isn't too big of an issue. So yeah. So um, that's more or less more I have to talk about about the. How is it? The is it, what is it called? Is this sub no wait no the shit what's the proper term called no not not subclass um <laughs> can't remember what is it I I can't remember what is what what what's the 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 the, the term I just call it subclass one now <laughs> I just hope I forgot about it that's fine <laughs> uh, yeah this more as well I guess technically I haven't built up my PS stream yet that I bought with the WWF pack. So maybe that maybe if the from the reduced stats the four stars have maybe it'll become a bigger issue the it, the reduced twenty percent. But at least for, at least for now using me using Ceylon and Whispering it hasn't been an issue for me yet. So yeah. Um, I guess I'll talk about the Talonix, I guess the where she can get increase of that, which actually is further you know makes it a less of an issue the reduced reduced percentage. And if there is water tiles, there is increased by 18%. So the talent is basically that's the reason why it's like people have been co- to- comparing with like the charter stuff. Since both of them is, is the same. They gain a further increased buff if there is water tiles. And as far as I'm aware, like the only stages that, ha- that has technically has water tiles in terms of the game is the Heart of Surging Flames event, or some people just call it the Obsidian event, the Obsidian Festival event. As well as the Chowter's one, which is the Dostler's Holiday. So that is the, the in in the game game sense, those are the only two events that there's any water tiles. Even if like even if other other like the other stages may have technically water tiles like in the background stuff like that, they're technically not considered water tiles as far as I'm aware. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I guess 
tell, feel free to tell me in the comments or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> but as far as I'm aware, that's the case. So, yeah. So, if anything, the talent is actually very helpful for her. But, it's, how do I say? It's very helpful for her, I guess, to be honest. I don't even know if there they is technically any better um, talent that she could have. I can't come off any, so it's fine why it's actually a very good talent. So I guess I should just outright move on to the skills. Where her where the next her next skill but yeah the skill one. Okay. Skill one per second charge. Is a skill that can hold charges. So the next skill will recover HP equal to 170% of Ceylon's attack. It will not be decreased by the trade. And this is at rank 7. So as far as I can tell this skill actually has come in handy if you're just focusing on just like you just need the heals and doesn't need like the status resistance that the archetype yeah that's a, that's the word archetype <laughs> okay yeah not the sub plus archetype then it is <laughs> you're not wanting like the status resistance that the archetype is known for you just want the straight up heals i would actually say skill one is actually a lot better provides a lot actually provides a lot more healing then skill 2 would, in most cases, they're not. Especially since in most cases, there is only a, only a single and only single ally is receiving the brunt, like the brunt, the, the majority of the damage. So that's exactly where you want the healing to be go. And the skill 1, in terms of single target healing, has a lot, does a lot more than skill 2. The skill 2, like I said, I, I don't think I mentioned it, but does heal extra 1 target, so if you're going for it's just single target healing, which in most cases or not, is exactly what you need, and status resistance isn't an issue, I would say actually go for skill 1. <laughs> which is kind of weird, since most cases are not, like, even, you, yeah, even units <laughs> that really, that really you know, because most units that really don't want reason to go for skill 1, like even Whispering, which I guess I should bring up, it's, um, yeah, I guess I will bring up Whispering. Yeah, okay, give me a moment. Let me go bring up Why did I not uh, think about doing that for this? I don't know. Going back to where uh, like Whispering, where the skill 1 is severely overshadowed by the skill 2. So, yeah. That is, some, that is something that we, that is something, I guess. I don't know, to be honest, a lot of, a lot of uh, operators in Dark Knights, their skill 1 is overshadowed by the skill 2 or vice versa. So that's something I guess, but the skill is actually very useful. But just one thing to fo like focus on one single one to get. And so the fact that you don't need to worry about the decrease, because the skill one will just ignore that. As for masteries, it really isn't too big of a deal per se. I'll say just go for mastery one. But you just br just bring it down from eight to, from nine to eight. It actually it still isn't a lot to be honest. It's still quite considerably long for a charge skill for a. a charge holding skill if you are personally ask me. So entry if you have the materials to spend, which is a lot actually. Yeah, if you have the materials to spend to entry her, I would say why not? Because you do you you do only gain your third charge, that you can only hold the third charge after the entry. But in most cases or not, generally you still be using skill too, since if you're using a wide range medic over a single target medic in the first place. Most often they're not they're doing it for the state resistance, which skill one doesn't provide. So yeah, but if anything, if anything, I'll say this skill was like, this skill is actually a very good introductory skill for like the for the right range medic for like the extra right range medic trade uh trade stuff and things for people to learn about it. Doing the overcomplicated with like the status resistance all the stuff like that, or like the special target priority. Uh, whispering skill one has and stuff like that. You don't need to like comp over complicate things. This skill was actually a very good introduction for me, as well as my female friend that plays Dark Knights, into learning how like the right the how right range medics the range works as well as the trait the trait reduction work. So it's actually a very good introductory skill for me, for us to learn about it. <laughs> so if anything, I will say that. Skill one actually has done his job teaching us about the operator, the operator archetype itself. So actually having still having use for me right now. They're using it more for annihilations. 
<laughs> because you know, yeah, you're using it more for annihilation, for the, the burst healing. <laughs> it's kind of, if anything, I kind of be using, I'm actually transforming 2 year right now. I kind of be using 2 year as, the 2 year skill 2 as, I've, for now I'm using Ceylon skill 1, kind of how I'll be using the 2 year skill 2. More for like the burst healing, should hold on to the charges. It's just because of the using uh, me farming them in the nation two, is it? Yeah, nation two. It's gonna be like that. The the Avengers just cring, drop the health down of of heavy rain. The defender I'm currently just farming right now. And then Ceylon can just top top. <laughs> I just two charges heal 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 heavy rain basically basically to max health already. Even just by self when I tried when I was like playing around with it. And we, we fitted like the other medics are also trust for me. Which I figured was Morphine and Folinic. So yeah. So you could basically heal uh Vivian back to full health from the Avengers boosted her attack. <laughs> and pretty sure only at like level 50. So now what she's right now at E1 level 50. <laughs> so actually skill 1 has actually very high heal potential. Like very high healing. So yeah. Let's think more or less about it. And I'll move on to skill 2, which is the skill I even, even no matter how I talk about skill 1, it is still the skill that I generally go for. Because most of the time, if I choose like her over Susuro, it's, it's just, it's not, it's unless it's really for the attack range, because like the range tile is placed awkwardly or weirdly in certain maps, there is such a case. Like in the Dorsalus DM, DMO1, it was placed quite awkwardly. If I'm not wrong, so I heal Ceylon for like the healing for the top path. But also I've been capable of healing like my other operators in the middle path. So unless like that's the unless something like that happens or is the case like that, generally you won't really generally if you're trying to go for healing, you will actually go for like your single target medics. Like Susuro, because the skills are generally have like a better healing stuff like that, as well as the cost, which I guess I didn't mention about it. But yeah, uh, white range medics cost a lot. The cost is actually very high. I guess Ceylon is higher. But Ceylon is most likely to get full pot because she's from the event. Or you're going to get full pot from the record restoration. So this generally won't be a case, like the potential stuff. And I actually don't think I finished the event yet though. I'm pretty sure I haven't finished the event stage just yet, nothing about it. I should work on it, I guess. Um, yeah, but I had. I don't know when I want to work on it. I haven't really had much time. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of other, trying to catch up a lot of my other a lot of my backlog of visual novels. <laughs> I haven't finished Neko Para. <laughs> you know I have the game for like two, three years by now already. <laughs> so I had the time to sit down and just <laughs> walk, uh just read through it all. <laughs> uh, yeah but okay yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll find the time. <laughs> if anything, I'll probably be more or less more inclined to do it after I run off like my backlog of videos. But I'm pretty sure right now I haven't even finished uploading uh, Twilight of Volume Monday, and I'm uploading like the the I haven't even up upload finish uh, Gavia's event on either as well. So I guess if I finish up my backlog of videos to upload, I'm, I'll be more inclined to actually go and finish up the event, I guess. Even stage is yeah, but yeah, I'll move on, go back to see the skill 2, I guess. So Janet, so is the, the reason why you may be using uh, the white range medics in the first place is for the switch, is for the status research, which if it's kind of like a different like usage scenario between Ceylon skill 2 and Whispering. Since Whispering, she, ga she gives her the status resistance whenever she heals the target. For like the, she grants the resistance to the target for the next 3 seconds after healing them. Hello? Uh, but, but for Ceylon instead, it's for the duration of the skill, the entire skill, the 30 seconds, all allies within the range will gain the status resistance. So if you're more worried about like the if they are having like AOE, like the drones or from Force Nova herself, where you know she can just explode in the chapter six second phase, Ceylon is actually generally like better than that in that case, since she's actually giving the citizens to everyone within the range. Which I should have show which I have somewhat showcased 
in the in my digital the the six stage clear, which one gives like the citizens to everyone, like the few best of that. So actually, everyone actually came out of the their frozen state faster. But so it's kind of like that. But in like, in general, most cases, since most of the time, like the enemies can only freeze one enemy, yeah, even the casters or stuff like that, they will only freeze one target at a, like one ally at a time. So in those cases, so in most cases, whispering will actually still be better, especially since uh, healing is also considerably a lot because of our uh, talent. So the fact that we attack in the world is actually generally a lot better because of the high attack speed, the high attack in the world of the wide range medics. But in those specific cases where you're very concerned about keeping a group of operators, a group of allies, relatively like status free like if they're having the skill on so you don't want to waste any too much time uh, on the skill like silver skill tree afl skill tree stuff like that silon will actually be better in those case scenario as well as the fact that she does also heal one extra one extra target so it's, i guess so i guess it's she's better in those are like the aoe first of all attacks first of all like the explosion Freeze everyone. She can heal two allies at a time, keeping them alive. Keeping them alive. Whereas she's playing, maybe can only heal one. So by the time that she heal one, maybe the other who is also low health, first of all, before they recover from the from the attack animation, they already killed the operator. Whereas for Ceylon, there won't be such a case since she'll be healing like both of the low health operators at a time. So that's kind of it. The only thing I would say like is a drawback to it, to it is the long downtime, like very long downtime, eighty seconds. Which I guess really isn't a big deal since I guess I've also said, since she's very good against Force Nova, which more or less only found myself using the skill once. <laughs> since otherwise in most cases or not, her healing is actually quite high already by itself. Right, against most other operators, since like the maps where you will bring her, like the the frozen stages, the big deal is the fact that like, the big burst damage they can do against frozen enemies. But if you can manage it, juggle it like good enough, and your operators don't get frozen as often, the reduced healing that she has isn't actually the big uh, the reduced healing that she gives compared to other healing other medics without her skill on is quite negligible. It isn't that big of a deal if you can manage it well enough. So I'm always found myself only using her skill whenever first whenever first of us phase two starts happening. Happens to so keep all my operators unfrozen so they can quickly burst and force server down before she, you know, freeze too many tiles and delete the operators that are killing them <laughs> too, like, too fast. So it's kind of the thing. Do you have anything? So that's kind of how I've been, well, I've been using um, Ceylon skill too. So if you have anything else, Ceylon is actually a very strong operator if you know what you're doing. If I can like manage around the reduced healing and stuff like stuff like that, she is actually a very strong medic. If anything, if like I say, if anyone to build her, I would greatly recommend you to actually build her and actually play around with both skills, since both skills actually have their own use cases. So if you ask me, skill one will be the more general skill to use, just for the big healing that she need, the healing that she can borrow skill one is actually very very high, especially if you entry. 200% as well as not being decreased by the trait and holding 3 charges stuff like that. The healing that skill 1 can provide is actually very good. And then the skill 2, the AOE skill resist uh, status resistance is actually very good against certain bosses and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure how big or effective this will be in the casual event. Uh, the casual event in CN. The happening CN is coming to us sometime soon. I think it's in June, July. I'm not exactly sure how, how big the skill 2 will actually benefit there since I haven't really watched much. And from what I hope there are event the enemies that can freeze your your operators as well. So I'm not exactly sure how big the skill 2 will be in the upcoming event, like how much AoE freezing there is. But skill 2 has has helped me out a lot in dealing with Force Nova uh, in chapter 6 Force Nova. The basically in some of the event stages and stuff like that. The AOE status resistance actually has helped me out a lot. So if you, so yeah, if you're personally asking whether you should build Sena or not, yes, definitely. 
build her up, play with both skills. If both of them has complete has very different uh, use cases, play with both of them, like learn learn about her. She's actually a very good medic, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so yeah. In, to be honest, that's more or less about it, I guess. I don't have much else to talk about, I guess. So, it's very if anything, actually. The cost to actually, to actually get E2 is actually not that high. In terms of like, the material cost to promote her. The Master Trees are still very expensive as per usual, but... As far, I can, as far as I can tell, there really is a need to M3 the skill 2. I guess I never talk about that, the mastery. The reason to get mastery is on skill 2, as far as I'm aware. The initial SP cost isn't a big deal because, like I said, I've only used, I'll more, you only more or less be using her for like the final wave and stuff like that, where big amounts of operators will be frozen. So generally, most of the time, you already have you you have more than enough time to for her to charge up a skill even on skill rank seven. And the extra healing that she does provide is nice, but in most cases or not, I haven't found it to be too useful. So yeah. Uh, so it's more or less about Sailor, I guess. Be her. Play around with both skills. Alright. <laughs> uh, Alright. <laughs> this has been Toski. Bye bye.